اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اٹس بین ٹوینٹی سکس ایئرس سنس دی گریٹ لیڈر گریٹ فرینڈ آف دی ورکرز آف انڈین یونین مسلم لیگ ان کیرلا بوڈ بیڈ فیول ٹو دس ورلڈ اینڈ ٹو اے ورلڈ ہی وینٹ in Jannatul Firdaus. To all of you who were attached, used to ad admire, used to adore the personality that was PM. He was undoubtedly the most, one of the greatest leaders Indian Union Muslim League has created in Kerala. At times, I would rank him even before C.H. Muhammad Koya Sahib. But there was one thing I would like to say, these two were the most, the people with the backing of the cadres, if you see the humbleness and the availability to each common member of the Muslim League and later on Indian National League was a unique thing that PM had inherited in himself. He had a good word. Anybody coming to seek advice would be comforted and would go back satisfied. I've been seeing him <coughs> as he was a regular visitor to my father, belated Ibrahim Suleiman Seth Sahab. And I remember during the formation of Indian National League in Delhi, Ivan Ghalib Auditorium, we had gone out to have dinner at the famous Karim, Karim's in Juma Masjid. And after the wonderful meal, PM also was with us. We ordered firni, which is a speciality, sweet speciality of kareems, outside kareem that you used to get. Although he had high diabetic, he was highly diabetic, he enjoyed his firni. And when I asked him, PM, you should control the sweet that you take in. He said in Malayalam, that was his attitude. He lived his life king size in every spare of life. And I remember in a function in Calicut, I was present there. Before the meeting started, PM called me and said, Mone, you need to speak here. My knees trembled because I've never done public speaking before that. And he told me, he can, you can do it. Because that's the inborn ability that you've inherited from your father. Setsav was alive then. So was PM. I could barely speak for five, three to four minutes. Because that was my first stage. And that stage, as a speaker was presented to me by the great PM Abu Bakr Sahib. By the passing away of PM Abu Bakr Sahib, not only Said Sahib, oh yes, Said Sahib lost his right hand, but Indian National League lost 
a lot more. If he would have been alive, it would have been a different story altogether. And I remember how my father used to always seek if he has got a problem, how to solve it. He would always call up PM and ask him, what do you think about it? Is this the way we should go about? Even though Sayyid Sahib was a national president of the Indian Union Muslim League, he used to seek advice from people who he had trusted. You had trust in them. I shall not speak much more. I, only, I hope and pray that Allah grants him maghfirat and unites us all in his Jannat al Firdaus, inshallah. Wa akhir dawana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Siraj Ibrahim Seth, the National Secretary of Indian Union Muslim League, paying my respects, last my respects and adoration that I had for the personality known as PM Abu Bakr.